Hello and welcome to my very first episode of critiquing your landscape photos. Today I'm gonna critique one photo from Tiago Brevedelli, as well as eight photos from Alessandro Marchetti. Alessandro Marchetti? I don't know, I'm sorry for pronouncing your names wrong. Anyways, I'm very excited to give you guys a critique today. I've imported the pictures to Lightroom, so I can actually give you better advice and and I can actually show you the adjustments that I would do instead of just saying I would raise the shadows here. Alright, so I'm over here in Lightroom. I'm definitely gonna delete all of your pictures after I'm done with critiquing them, don't worry. So what we've got here is the one and only shot from Tiago. First thoughts, not in focus. It kinda is very blurry for some reason. I don't know if you've just missed focus or if you've moved the camera or something, maybe both a bit. So that's definitely a pretty big distraction from your photo. However, I really like these lines here going through the picture as well as the road, which are kind of simultaneously going through the picture and leading the line through it. So I definitely like that very much. So I do kind of like the framing, however, I don't really like the light. I mean, it's midday, there's just some very bright peaks on this rock right here. This is in complete shadow and not a lot of interest in terms of lighting over here. The sky is not very interesting either, just plain blue, no clouds. I think if you would go there around sunset and with much better light and more interesting light, especially in the sky and the foreground here. You will really end up with a much better picture. However, it's still an okay picture in my opinion. If you would have this picture sharp, then it would be a good picture. But yeah, I definitely would love to see a shot of this at sunset. All right, let's move on to the pictures of Alessandro. So this is the first one, seems to be a panoramic. First thing, I like the scene actually, it's a very beautiful scene and a beautiful tone of water. However these lines right here, they definitely do distract from the image. But other than that, I really like the composition, the shapes work just beautifully, beautiful reflection even. If you would shoot that at sunset with different kind of shadows and lights over the whole scene and the beautiful colorful sky, I think you could. It would be even better, however, as we have it right now, I still think it's a really good picture. I do like it. Let's go to the next one. So we got here a tower of some sort. I like the picture, I like the long exposure for the traffic right here, but what I don't like is this car and this pole right here. I don't think they work for the shot at all. I'd much rather have you frame the scene in a way that you don't have any of these distractions in your frame. Maybe some kind of foreground would work well here, or even some more of the road. I mean, I mean the road really looks kind of interesting with all these cracks and this hole right here. So I'd much rather see a bit more of that in the frame rather than this pole and this car right here. But other than that, I really like the long exposure, absolutely beautiful light coming through the windows here. That definitely makes the shot. I think the tower is a bit distorted, but it's definitely nothing wild. Let me just try and fix that down here at the lens corrections. Just press on auto and it's already fixed. So overall, it's a really nice picture. Again, just try and get a better foreground with less distractions next time. Then let's move on to the next one. I don't like it. All right, let me explain. So you've got here black and white lights with really nice starburst admittedly. However, you have a color reflection of those lights and this overwhelming bluish color in the entire picture, especially in the shadows here. I don't really like that. Let's try black and white. I like black and white actually much better. However, I still don't like your composition in the foreground right here, because that's kind of a chopped off part of a path with some bushes, and I really don't think that works for your composition. I'd much rather have just a scene in your photo with just the river or just get a little bit more foreground so it's not as chopped off, maybe a little bit more interest into the foreground. 
However, I really like how you did not cut off any of these towers or this building right here, so that's definitely a plus. Actually, let me try and crop this image here without the foreground, something like that, just kind of a panoramic. And, you know, it definitely needs a little bit more river than what I've cropped out here. But I think that works better for this photo. Again, I'm not very big fan of this color version. It really doesn't look very nice to me. But then again, of course, this is just my personal opinion. If that's your style and you really love it, then definitely stick with it. No point in changing it if you really like it. I'd definitely go black and white for this shot. Anyways, let's go to the next one. I really like this. Beautiful reflection of the clouds right here. Really beautiful clouds and overall exposure and color in the sky and in the entire frame actually. So I really like this photo. Seems that you've kind of missed the sun a bit. I'm gonna go assume and say that you've tried this shot like five minutes earlier with the whole sun in the frame, but you've just got too many lens flares. So you kind of wait until it's gone a bit more, so you don't get any lens flares. If that's the case, that's definitely fine. However, I don't really like the cropping here, because the horizon is straight in the middle. And I don't really think that works very well at all for this picture. I'd much rather have a rule of thirds crop, something like that. Maybe not exactly rule of thirds. I think that works even better if you have two-thirds of this lake down here and just one-third of sky. And also a thing that I have to point out is that the horizon isn't straight. Now I get that you were on the other side of the lake and this is not directly in front of you, more a bit to the right, but I still think it works better if you would have a straight horizon. It's just a little bit less distracting. Then I really like this picture, let me just play around with the highlight slider on the tonal curve, maybe a little bit, and try and raise the shadows here. Well, I don't really like that very much, so I like these shadows very dark. So you really got a great picture there, I really like it. Just try and crop it a bit differently, maybe use rule of thirds, and just straighten the horizon. But that's definitely my favorite picture of you so far. Alright, so let's move on to the next picture. Another beautiful sunset. This time you really have the whole sun in your picture, nothing cut off. Which I really really like. And a beautiful sky where it goes from blue to orange to almost red. So I really really like that. However, even though I really like the lighting of this foreground, I don't like the foreground itself at all. It's just a dirt road. It doesn't really have much interest to me. It almost kind of looks cinematic though. Just wait until the car drives into the sunset. But for a picture, I really don't like the foreground very much. Then a very small thing, you kind of cut off the tree right here. I think that's just a very minor part of me pixel peeping. But it would be even better if you would not cut off this tree right here. But other than that, I really like the shot, really beautiful color and especially lighting. Let me just try and make it a bit different, just in my style, what I might do. Uh, I would make this a bit more bluish, I think. Maybe make it a bit brighter. And kind of grab another graduated filter just for the top here. And make this even more blue and a bit brighter as well. I was just playing around and trying to see if that works better, but I'm really not sure. Maybe a little bit. Anyways, I really like the overall shot, so let's move on to the next one. I don't know where this is, but if I had to take it, yes. It almost looks like the Dolomites in northern Italy, but I'm really not sure. So anyways, to the picture itself. I don't really like the foreground. I think it's a path or a way or something like that. However, there's really not much interest in this path. It's just a bunch of little rocks and I don't think they work very well for this photo. I do kind of like that you've selected this 117, which I guess is a hiking trail marking. 
I think that works quite well. However, the other parts of the foreground, I really don't like it very much. And I think I might even try a panoramic cropping right here from the bottom first, maybe just like that, and kind of crop down up here as well, just to kind of get rid of some of the sky, which really hasn't much interest in it as well. So let me try this cropping right here. I do like this better than before, however, you really have a lot, so much detail in this shot, you know? Every single rock has a ton of detail in it, so it can get quite easy for the eye to be distracted and not really know where to look. And the thing that really helps in black and white there is just bring down the blacks and make the whole scene a bit more contrasty. Of course, this is a JPEG file, so it won't look as good as if you would do it with the RAW file. But let me just try and make this a bit different, a bit more contrasty. Something like that. Overall contrast. Maybe the shadows in the tonal curve. Let me see the darks here, maybe bringing them down a bit as well, maybe bringing up the blacks right here a bit. So uh, let's see before and after, here is before and here's after. I mean it's really up to you which one you prefer, I might even add some vignetting here with a lot of minus exposure, let me just try that. Something like that, a bit more dramatic. Personally, I like the picture a bit better. However, even though I might have overdone it with the clarity, I like this picture better than the one you gave me at the start, but that's of course just my personal opinion and my personal style. If you really like the non-contrasty, kind of soft look, then I definitely would suggest you to crop it anyways because this foreground right here really doesn't really add to the picture at all. So anyways, I think this picture has potential, especially the scenery is very very beautiful. I really like this 117 even more in this cropping as well. Anyways, let's go to the next picture. So we've got here another hiking path. And I have to say, I don't really like this picture very much. I think if you would have stepped a few steps to the left, of course, if you can do that without falling down from the mountain, and kind of get a little bit more of this hiking path right here into the shot, as well as these arrows right here in a form that you can actually read them. I think that framing would work better than it is right now, especially the path is kind of chopped off. Then another thing that I don't like is this processing of your clouds right here. They're too dark for this beautiful day. I mean, they're not stormy clouds, right? So I don't really like this editing to the clouds either. Maybe it would work better in black and white. Hmm, I'm not sure. I actually think I like the black and white version better than the color one. However, I still don't like the overall picture very much. But what you have here over to the left is a very nice picture in itself. So if you happen to have a telephoto lens, then I might just try and kind of just take a little bit of this scenery right here. Maybe something like that. And just try that. Of course, it's a very terrible quality because I've cropped so much. But I actually really, really like this framing, especially with this path and this beautiful mountain right here. Sometimes you really need a long lens to capture the best possible framing in a landscape, and that works actually better than the wide angle framing for some cases. In this case, I definitely think that cropped version just over there is better than this one. Anyways, I don't really like the picture, I don't think it's very strong, especially compared to your other pictures that are way better than this one. Let's move on to the next and possibly last photo. So we've got another mountain landscape. First of all, beautiful color in this lake. 
however let me just try black and white regardlessly I kind of like this these rocks right here better in black and white but I definitely think these lakes right here are a reason to stay in color in terms of framing you kind of cut off these clouds over there so I think that's a little bit of a distraction to the picture and then the foreground I don't like the foreground either because again it's just a hiking path with not much interest. I'd much rather have you crop the image something like that where it has very little foreground or get something interesting into the foreground like a tree or a big rock or something like that. But overall I do like the picture. Let me just try and bring down the blacks and see if that looks even better. Let me see here. Bring up the shadows a bit. Here is before, and here's after. Mm. Mm. Really just personal opinion, I guess. Well, anyways, I do like the overall shot, but I think you could find a better framing. Another thing that I really like, actually, is that you haven't cut off any of this lake right here. I think that's a thing that a lot of beginners would do, is just to cut off a part of the lake and I'm really glad that you didn't do that. Then let's see if we have any other pictures. I think I went through them all for this time. So I want to thank you all very much for submitting your photos. I've got some more comments with the Flickr links in the previous video and I'm definitely gonna make some more critiques in the next days. Well anyways, thank you very much for submitting your photos Tiago and Alessandro. I really do appreciate it. Of course keep in mind that these are just my personal opinion of your pictures. Thank you very much for watching guys. New videos of critiques and other Lightroom editing stuff will come in the coming days. And if you would like to submit your own landscape photos for me to do a critique from, just be sure to check out my previous video. Just click on the screen right now to get to it or on the little info card in the top right corner if you're on a mobile device and there I tell you how you can submit your pictures. I definitely look forward to that. Enough of me talking now, it's time to end the video. So I wish you an amazing day, take care.